Get ready to start working out. We're gonna begin with one minute of jumping rope. If you don't wanna jump rope, you can do jumping jacks, mountain climbers, burpees, anything that is gonna get your heart rate up and your body prepped and ready for the workout. Keep jumping or keep moving, whatever you're doing, just don't stop. The warm up is almost over. Keep moving and get ready for the first exercise, which is a crane split squat. You're going to have your left leg lunging forward, just like in a lunge, and then lean back and lift that leg up and then put the foot right back down. Okay, the next move is squat jacks. So lower into a squat, jack your feet in and out. The next move is a lunge, squat, lunge. Lunge forward with your left leg, then do a squat, then lunge forward with your right leg and keep alternating. The next exercise is a curtsy squat kick. Do a curtsy lunge with your left leg and then kick to the side with that left leg and alternate sides. If you lose your balance, just tap your foot down and then do the kick. The next exercise is the pendulum chair squat. Squat down into a chair squat and then kick out holding the squat with your right leg and then squat and then kick out with your left leg and keep swinging those legs. The next exercise are donkey kicks. So come down into a down dog pose, just like you're gonna get ready to do a handstand. Kick your legs up, kicking your heels towards your butt and keep kicking for the entire 20 seconds. Next exercise is a low rotational chop, twisting from side to side. So go into a lunge, clasp your hands, and have your hands in front of you, and then twist from side to side, jumping each time into the lunge. Have your knee directly over your ankle. The final exercise is a plyometric single leg hip thruster. So lie down onto your back and get into hip thruster position, lifting one leg and then jumping with the leg that's on the ground, alternating each leg that jumps.
Cycle one is complete. Now get ready to go for cycle two, repeating all eight exercises again. Crane split squat, this time with your opposite leg forward. Lean forward into your lunge, and then lean back, lifting that leg off the ground. Squat jacks are next. Remember to squat low and jack your feet in and out. Make sure to keep breathing. I'm sure those quads are on fire by now. Next exercise is lunge, squat, lunge. Lunge forward with your left leg, squat, then lunge with your right and keep repeating. Next exercise is the curtsy squat kick. Curtsy your leg behind you and then kick out to the side with the same leg and then alternate legs each time. Next exercise is the pendulum chair squat. So come into a chair squat and then kick your leg out to the side, holding the chair squat the whole time. Make sure to keep your knees behind your toes when you're doing the chair squat. Next exercise is donkey kicks. Have your hands below your shoulders and kick up, kicking your heels towards your glutes. Next exercise is the low rotational chop. Come into a low lunge and swing your arms in front of you as you twist from side to side. Remember to keep your knees directly over your ankle and bend the back knee as you lunge. The final exercise is the plyometric single leg hip thruster. Push off of the heel that's on the ground, thrusting your single leg up into the air each time. Great job. Now you can move on to stretching and doing some yoga, or if you went through that twice and you wanna do it again, repeat the video one more time. If you're ready to cool down, don't stop moving. Just lightly march in place, jog in place, slowly lower your heart rate down, swing your arms back and forth, shake out your legs, and catch your breath. This was an intense workout that got your heart rate up really high and will have you burning lots of calories the rest of the day. Now get ready to do some stretching. I like to come down into down dog and just relax, stretching out my hamstrings, my arms, my shoulders. I even like to swing my neck back and forth, releasing any kind of tension. 
Now bring your right leg forward and come into a low runner's lunge, stretching out those hip flexors. Take a deep breath in and out, and then go back into your down dog, and then switch legs. Remember to keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and breathe into each stretch to get a deeper stretch every single time. Now square off your body towards the front of your mat and come into a wide leg forward fold, hanging your head down, keeping a straight back as much as you can. If you want, you can clasp your hands behind your back and get a nice shoulder stretch. Now slowly come back up. Don't come up too fast so you don't get dizzy. Bring your feet together and do a standing quad stretch. So bend your knee, grab onto your foot, and keep your knee right next to your other knee. Do not take it out to the side or back behind you and just breathe into the stretch and then switch sides. Now bring your hands in front of you in prayer and then straight up towards the sky, stretching back behind you. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed this little workout.